Yo, what's up guys? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we're heading onto our siege battle. We're up against Amity and Zenith. If I'm not mistaken, these are two pretty decent tie guilds. And we are currently at rank 7 as well. Zenith at 16, 11, 7, and 2. And Amity is 10, 8, 2 at rank 23. So the defenses here for the net force, pretty mix of everything. Interesting. <laughs> There's something we don't see too often. Galnir Tower on the 11, and a couple of Odin, Sylvia Hurtit, and the Kiki. On the other hand, Zenith, Clara, Chilling, Slash, Asher, Vitra. Alright. That's more of the standard stuff that we are definitely seeing nowadays. And pretty nice LD units basically throughout all their net 5 towers. Alright then, we'll be able to start our first match of the day up against this Clara, Asher, and the Vitra. Bring in our Jotun, Windy, and the Raccoon this time, alright? So, honestly, I don't know. I'm still in a pickle where either I fit in Raccoon or Tatra in that slot. So yeah, we'll see about that. And also in the future, I want to change my Jotun to Revenge at least, like Double Revenge will would be the best option. It's just that when I do that right now, I am losing quite a lot of stats. But maybe at the end of the day, I don't really need the stats, right? Because we got Rakuni or Tatra for the heals. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see whether uh, if this one is a close call, then we'll change it up. I don't like all those debuffs onto our Rakuni though. Oh shit. We can't heal? Bruh. <laughs> wow. Okay. First match and we're gonna lose already. Holy shit. That ain't good. This is not a good start, guys. Yeah, Rakuni dead means that we can just quit this one. We don't have any more heals and uh, Vitra is still so tanky as well. Half HP. I don't think it cuts it. Unless he crits the Jotan every time. But they're not aiming Jotan as well, bro. Yeah, my Windy is probably gonna be dying here. The Seal Rune's also annoying. Yeah, Windy is dead. <laughs> okay, first match, first loss. I'm gonna be testing out the Jamir, Leo, and Tilasha combo over here. My Leo is just on a full damage build. Tilasha is there to bring our Leo down to 30% health. And we're just gonna like snipe off this Iris because I do not want to deal with the AoE stunts and whatnot. 84k, holy shit! <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Alright. However, do we have an opportunity to use a second torrent though? Although we got a reset earlier, I didn't want to use it because of that glancing. But the threat state is just so annoying. Oh my god, it's back up online. So we got no choice here. I do not want to risk the torrent because of this glancing, especially on a fire unit as well. I can just hold on onto our skills first. At the end of the day, Tilasha revives, right? So we are having good speed here. Go for the Dark Return. Our Leo, come on, smack this, Sylvia. <laughs> oh man, this team. Actually really good. And the second skill heals our Leo as well. Alright. We have the Torrent up. I don't think we need to use the third skill yet. No crit this time. Alright, we can go for the refresh right now. And another round of Torrent. We just need to crit once and we are Gucci. We are seeing a pretty interesting lineup here. The Double Lightning Emperors, Odin and Gelnir together with the Water PVC. So with this one, I think it's safe to say we could just use the Leo Dyna comp. With a Reviver because I'm a little bit afraid of Odin, right? Because with attack buff, he might hit really hard. Uh, the Gelnir on Despair. Alright. Yeah, 
always gonna be focusing onto the Odin. But very tanky because of the heals as well coming up from this Galnir. Oh my god. Five stacks, Odin. This is a butt clenching moment. Oh, 29k only. <laughs> Man, that Odin hits pretty weak. Eh? 29k only with attack buff. Huh. So it's on a tanky build, but then also my Dida could do quite a lot of damage onto it. It's just that the Gelnir's heal is so annoying. So we just remove the stack every time if the Gelnir has it. We touch the Adriana or the Water Pure Vanilla Cookie, whatever it's called. So yeah, we can see we are doing pretty good damage output now onto the Odin, right? So with this inevitable wound, we should be able to bring down the first life. Oh, very close. Okay, no stacks yet from Galnir. First life down. Nice additional turn. This should do the trick, right? Uh, we heal up. We try to stun this unit. Didn't get it. Yeah, whenever we play against Galnir, we need to be a little bit smart with our attacks. Just try to hit the... The support unit to heal themselves over there. And we can always just fully focus on to one, right? So from here, there's no more damage output. We do have destroy runes. Slowly but surely, we are gonna back this one as well. We're gonna have some fun over here. We'll mirror this one and let's see whether rune quality prevails. <laughs> so the opponent's Asher move first though. It means that it should probably be on Swift, alright? I have everything on Violent, which is slightly better in that sense. Because first turn damage output is not the best coming up from this lineup. It's more of the once the destroy kicks in, then your lineup with more Violent procs is going to be very good. So we even got triple stuns here. And we can armor break this Vitra. Alright, with this branding, safe to say Asher's Massacre is going to one-shot it. Yeah, the damage output is just too good, you know? Even though my Asher has pretty low uh, crit rate, but it still hits pretty nice. We have to fight another Galner defense, and we are going for the long run as well for this one. So, with Tilmars having destroy, I don't know how long is it gonna be kicking in, but hey, at least we got something to destroy the HP. I could also put it onto, onto our Diaz, but... It's not gonna be uh, doing much, right? So yeah, at least with big damage output. We don't have any additional damage units here as well. So this is gonna take some time. Might as well work on to the Tessarian since his armor broken. And we're gonna place the two turns immunity onto all of our units. Nice skill block landed. We actually need that one. So with all these violent procs, man, this stupid mermaid. Bro. Oh. oh, now we can't even land armor break. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're taking so much damage. Holy shit. Can our Lulu violent? Useless, man. Bro. Land your heal block, man. I think, you know what? We just brute force our way through this Tessarion. I don't care. Yeah, we can heal up. We give the Galner stacks. Okay. Come on. Can we land the armor break? Diaz, you have the skill. Wrong debuff, my friend. <laughs> I don't care about the attack debuff, you know. Come on, man. Uh, We just normal attack heal. Alright, finally we got one proc on our side. Perfectly fine. Nice heal block landed. The Sirion is dead. And I am just gonna be pressing the auto button onto Sicklit. I can't deal with this bullshit. You really know what's up. Whenever you fight this kind of Clara, Kiki, Kabila defense, just bring in the Balayo team. Alright, guys? 1 million percent win rate. <laughs> no way in hell you lose, okay? So from here, we just need to wait for our Balayo to get back off. 
uh, the cooldown timer here, which is another six more turns. You can either run your Belial on a violent build, just pure damage will do. For me, I just go Rage because he's a one trick pony where you just want to one shot something. An additional turn will be nice, but it's not necessary, you know? So from here, 3v1 against the Camilla, we are in a safe spot. We have to fight this Galner defense again, man. Holy shit, this tower is so annoying. So for this time, we'll be running the Fingyan, Veladrol, and Alia. Alright, we have Destroy Runes. Once again, you need Destroy Runes whenever you're fighting this kind of lineup to hasten things up, right? Because most of the time, Galner has very high resistance. And if you can't land your armor break, you don't have destroy. Chances of you killing off that unit, very low. <laughs> okay, so he stole my defense buff. What a bitch. Come on, man. Ah, oh, this is gonna take 10 years again. I hate to fight Gelnir, but then they have a full tower that they always keep placing. Coming out from Zenith, I got no choice. We have to hit it. So now our Veladro actually got reset it. We are gonna cleanse all this away. Alright, thankfully we woke up our Fingyan as well. Oi, can you stop stunning my ass, bro? Oh, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> because we are giving the Gelner 5 stacks every time. Holy shit. Oh, the Oblivion is so annoying. Bruh. Can you stop proccing? Dude. Okay, we have to heal up. Okay, armor break landed. I think we just go for the defense buff here. I don't really know what to do. Ah, this Siglip forever in build 2 turns, man. Why I got violent? I don't proc like that. I don't understand this game. Bro. Can also just strip my immunity into stun. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Okay, at least from what I'm seeing here, the destroy is kicking in a little bit onto the Siglit, right? So we just need one lucky crit if we can. Like Veladrol, can you just crit once in your life? Uh, Oblivion again. Thankfully, we resisted three times. And come on. Nice crit. But we have to remove all these stacks onto the Galnir. Ah, this kind of lineup, man. It stalls so well, you know. <laughs> How I wish I got this kind of units like for LDs which is like very good on defense things like Tianlang Gelnir, uh, Kiki all very tanky and super annoying on on the defenses right so yeah we can only just cleanse we keep giving this Gelnir 5 stacks so from the looks of things right the only way for us to kill off something is to destroy their health 60, like what, 50% or 60% into a Veladrol armor brick crit. <laughs> I think that is the only way for us to like kill off something. So once the Tetra goes down, once again, we'll just press the auto button. It should be safe from there, you know? So we can just go for the Sanctuary. Come on, man. How long has this fight been? Feel like I've been clicking for like 3-4 minutes already. Holy shit. I don't want to bring this lineup again. <laughs> bro, can you crit once? Please. Violent. Bro, we have violent runes. Not, not every time they violent, man. This mermaid is super annoying. Forever 2 turns, man. Okay, we got one shot. We got one shot in life here. Crit! Okay. Fing in. Can, can you kill? Thank fucking god. Holy shit. <laughs> Pressing auto button already from here. 
I think with all this cleanse for our Feng Yan, yeah, he should be able to soak up all this damage, no issues whatsoever. We're down to our last two swords, and we're gonna be bringing in our Sierra Gianna together with the Shizuka this time. So I have 21% skill to accuracy onto that unit. Hopefully we can land our shit, bro. If we don't land bombs, basically, GG. Come on, Gianna. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, I want to... I want to remove this lineup from my offense, honestly. Oh, so shit. Every single time. The Perna even got the strip. Heh, <laughs> Shizuka is dead. All things in nature. Last shot in life. Uh, but I don't think anything is dying here. Nice violent proc from them, honestly. Good violent proc as well. What is the point of stunning? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, even if we kill the Shazam here, I well oh, we can't even kill it. The bomb damage not sufficient. Okay, good armor break. Nice crit onto our unit. Even though we are wetter. Good job. I don't think our Sierra is cutting it. Yeah, with this armor break, GG. We're gonna be doing the tail cleave over here because I am done. I think we should be able to outspeed the opponent. So we got 2 1 2 Tiana. Our tail is also having some pretty good damage output. So yeah, let's just go ahead with it and try to get at least another win at the end here. Yeah, wins of changes into confirm armor break. And can we push back? I do not want to touch the Iris, if not Revenge. Revenge stun is gonna hurt us so bad. Come on. Okay, at least we kill off the Iris. Sylvia is almost dead. Okay, good. Nice squall damage for the 2000 to secure this win. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 337 crystals followed by 931 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So for this one, we actually won. Followed by Zenith as 2nd and MAT coming in 3rd place. We'll be able to head right over to open up the rubbish box as well. Uh, one more shiny left. Pretty certain we are not gonna get it. <laughs> I don't know how many months has it been. Yep. Just a normal shit box every time. So yeah, just gonna sell all these stupid runes. Yep, nothing worth keeping and that's gonna be it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe my friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.